Hi everyone, here we are again with another session of Juice Along With Jason Lockdown Special. These, of course, are all part of the new uh, recipes that may or may not be going in the new book that I am writing currently due out in September. It is the Juice and Blend Reset Challenge. It's already an app. I just want to add loads more recipes um, into the book. And you, yes, my friends, my juicy friends around the world, uh, can play a part in that and judge them. So far, so good. Obviously, I test them before. I'm not randomly making them here. Testing them before, and I think they should make it in the book. But actually, I just want to get a nice balance and feel out there whether actually they're working. Uh, for those just joining us, just really quickly, the idea is you have a, a nice blend in the morning, really satiating, macronutrient-based, fat, protein, carbohydrate, keeps you satiated. And then throughout the day, you have what I call the micronutrients. I mean, there's micronutrients and macronutrients in both obviously blends and juices, but they're more powerful um, when it comes to juices. That's throughout the day, they're a bit lighter, and then a blend again in the evening. Um, this, hopefully we'll go in the book, you'll be the judge, judge it from one to 10, see what you think. Unusually, I'm adding, I'm adding an orange, uh, which I'm, and this is called, oh yes, the beta carrot orangina. I know, you can't make it up. Um, it's hard to come up with new names, okay? I've been doing this for 20 years. That's all I'm saying. Right, here's what you're gonna require. Uh, a juicer, I'm using a cold press juicer. Look, if you can afford to get a cold press juicer and you have the time to use a cold press juicer, I would say, look, if you're gonna make even just one juice a day, because at the end of this, I'm gonna be challenging people to kind of like almost like a post lockdown 30 day challenge. Not where you live on nothing but juices for 30 days, but where you change your breakfast every day for 30 days, but that's something else. Um, but if you're gonna do one a day, I would say make it the best that it can be and cold press is the way forward. And it stays in the fridge for at least 48 hours without losing too many of the nutrients. Whereas actually when you start to use a fast juicer, which is still great, but obviously it starts to oxidize much faster. But then if you are using fast juice, you just drink it as close to making it as possible or, or put it in a flask and just make sure there's no light or oxygen getting to it. Anyway, here we go. Here are the ingredients that we're gonna require. Uh, this is loaded with pro-vitamin a beta carotene, hence the name beta carrot, anyway, but beta carotene. Uh, it's also got iron in there, uh, loaded with iron, uh, not only because of, of, of the spinach, but moreover because of the, the, the raw beetroot. Uh, loaded with nitrates, wise in the blood vessels, um, really good for uh, uh, high blood pressure. Uh, then you've got the king, ginger. I, I just try and add it in whenever I can, because why not? I tend to have ginger shots too, but wherever you can, you like it with a little bit of a kicker, I mean, the first doctor it was first do no harm. Well, this bad boy is what I call Dr. Juice. And then of course you've got the orange. So let's crack on with how to make this bad boy. Orange, we're gonna peel it. Now, those of you that always, you know, I get so many emails in saying, oh, but Jason, why do you peel the orange? You can just put an orange straight into a juicer. I've seen it done before. I've been in Spain. I've been, you know, to the Canary Islands. La la la. And I've seen orange. We see these. Zumo machines, or Thumo. Uh, you see these Zumo machines, and you can see all the oranges on top. And then, of course, you press a little button and it extracts freshly extracted orange juice. What you don't see, it goes around the back and there's a blade that cuts it in half and essentially squeezes it. And so what you're missing, really, is the real meat of the juice, I call it. Um, a lot of nutrients are to be found either in the skin or just beneath the skin of a lot of fruits and vegetables. And what we're trying to do is keep, keep the pith of the juice, uh, keep the pith of the orange on there. Real orange juice should be kind of like a, a white, kind of creamy color, not really orange. This is big, not, this is a whole fruit juice extractor, but this is a massive orange. So you're either gonna use for this recipe the two smaller oranges, or you get something like this bad boy. So unusually, I've got to actually cut this up to put this through the juicer. Again, really not much of a hassle, is it? Let's be honest. So th there's my orange. That's gonna add the vitamin C and the sweetness as well. And then we just need a handful of spinach. Either, th these are beautiful organic carrots. Um, so they should be coming in all different shapes and sizes, not too luminous. The more luminous your carrot actually is, unfortunately. I mean, carrots were originally purple, but anyway, that's another subject altogether. Uh, but anyway, they've been crossbred and so on. Um, three small ones like this you know, or two large ones, or if you've got a massive carrot, then obviously just put that through. Small bulb of beetroot, like I said, and then a chunk of ginger, whatever, I mean, about like that. So, 
What we're going to do first of all, I've already, here we go, we're going to add uh, the carrots in. See, the juice is not brand new and clean because I've already, I've already made this once, you see. <laughs> Tested it and now turn the camera on to go right time to film. Juice isn't coming out yet because what I tend to do is let it build up slightly in the reservoir. Now here's the key thing. If you have a fast centrifugal juicer, in fact any juicer really, but normally centrifugal, when you've got spinach and it's not going in a blender and you want to juice it, you need to, I say this all the time in case there's new people, new people, hello to all the new viewers. If you're there, YouTube channels are really starting to get a lot of subscribers now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My movie's on there for free, always bunging on new recipes. And it's a genuinely free YouTube channel. Not the pretend free YouTube channels where people start earning tons of money through advertising. I turn the advertising off. I just turn it off. I just, I, I like what I do. Uh, I, it's a real passion of mine. I've been doing it for 20 years. Um, so the YouTube channel is just somewhere we can just kind of hang out, have a bit of fun. You know, you can leave some comments on there. I try and keep across the channels. The orange is going in now, you can see that anyway. Why well, am I even telling you, you can see it. I try and keep, oh, let's open that up already, look at that. Uh, I try and keep across all my social media channels, but you know, there's so many, that it's just almost impossible uh, to keep up with all of them. Um, and then, you know, I, joke, I jokingly put one video on TikTok. People say, you're gonna start doing stuff on TikTok? No, I put it on there as a joke. I don't even get TikTok. I mean, there's videos, and people going up and down stairs all with the same kind of songs and then they last for a couple of minutes and they're quite amusing. Maybe that's what it is though. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's just meant to be a bit like that. Uh, beat going in. Uh, so then we put that on last and the beat goes on. And <laughs> the beat goes on. Just like my love ever. I can't sing. I really, really cannot sing. Uh, right, so now we've got that rich... Uh, beetroot just going through, nice cold pressed. Just allow that to run as much as you can because you want to make sure that obviously you get all the juice through. You want to nick a little, little bit more juice, just add a little bit of water at some point. And don't worry about diluting the juice a little bit too much. It's still going to have the nutrients in, so it's all good. Then we get the glass, which I forgot to get. There we go, uh, little glass over here. So that you can add a little bit of ice if you want to. I do like a cool juice, uh, but the ice is in the freezer over there, so I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to bring it out, but it doesn't matter. Um, there it is. It's, this is one of the ones that will be during the day as part of the plan, as part of the juice and blend. This is the beta carrot orangina, because of course there's a drink out there called orangina, and beta carotene is in here as pro vitamin A, and there's also beetroot anchor. You get the reason why I did the name. Um, anyway. Natural anti-inflammatory. All oh, that is good. I made listen. I made it about ten minutes ago. That one tastes better. I must have put a bit more ginger in this one because it's just got that lovely little kick to it. Um, loaded with iron, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, vitamin C, pro-vitamin A. It's got phosphorus. It's got potassium. It's got calcium in there as well. This is just. I mean, it's a. I mean, you've got to put it in the book, people. Mark it from one to 10, please. Um, whatever social media channel you're on. I tend to be very much on my own Instagram. Uh, some of my team are on the uh, Facebook um, side of life. I tap into that every now and then. I tap into YouTube every now and then, but I'm pretty much um, all over the, um, the uh, come on, get it, get it out, Instagram. Uh, Twitter, I think I'm just gonna leave off anything uh, that might be a little bit political from now on. Um, uh, because, uh, yeah, I did a podcast with the doctor and um, it was more about ask what, uh, ask what you can do for the NHS rather than what the NHS can do for you. And, uh, you know, uh, anyway, some people it went down well and other people, obviously, uh, it didn't go down very well. But I think we, I genuinely do believe we all have a personal responsibility. Um, that's just a personal thing. But anyway, I want to keep this light because that's all for Twitter because Twitter tends to be that place where you can bark a bit. And Instagram tends to be a lovely place. So you'll find this on Instagram and on YouTube and Facebook. Um, although Facebook's a bit in between, isn't it? Anyway, that's the Beats Carrot Origina. Mm. Juice Long with Jason. Back tomorrow. Hope you like it.